6.39 is now the time. And Jim, you have a beautiful picture to share with us right now. Isn't that pretty? I love these sunset pictures that folks have been posting to the Idaho Weather Watchers Facebook page. This one's from Ann Gertie. Beautiful pinks and reds in that sunrise and sunsets. Uh, this is a sunset here in Idaho and uh, just one of the many beautiful sunsets that we experience almost every day. Well, today we're going to be seeing a beautiful sunrise underway right now and likely a very pretty sunset this evening too because skies are going to be mostly clear. But you may be running for a tissue or sneezing now and then because the allergy forecast calls for a high pollen count continuing today and tomorrow. It's high now because of pine as well as some cottonwood and grass and a few other trees, but those are the highest pollinators and will likely rise a bit more tomorrow since tomorrow will be the hottest day of the year before a cold front comes in and starts lowering temperatures and bring showers in for the weekend. So the pollen count will probably drop a little bit on into the holiday weekend and you'll get a little, maybe a little bit of relief from your allergies. Low 50s this morning here in the Treasure Valley, warming up to the 60s and 70s through the morning into the 80s this afternoon. And uh, there's that sunrise underway right now, very pretty. But out across the valley, skies are mostly clear. 52 degrees right now in Boise with southeast winds at seven miles per hour. The barometric pressure is on the rise. And that high pressure ridge is centered over southern Oregon, will cross our area today. And it keeps the flow of any moisture well to the north. It is dropping down out of the northwest across central Idaho now. So a few high clouds now and then, but they'll melt away as the high pressure shifts to the east during the day. And that high pressure ridge that's over southern Oregon extends out into the eastern Pacific as well. As it moves eastward, we'll see more of a southwesterly flow developing through tomorrow. That will bring up even warmer warmer air to boost temperatures up to the warmest regions of the year so far. Farther to the north, there's a low pressure system tracking across eastern Washington. Much like yesterday, we kept a few showers up in the Idaho Panhandle and over into Montana. But behind that low pr high pressure system is a deep low pressure trough in the Pacific that's making its way quickly toward the coast. And by tomorrow evening, it will push on shore, forcing a cold front into southwest Idaho Thursday evening and overnight into Friday morning, followed by a cool and very unsettled low pressure trough for the holiday weekend. So for the Magic Valley today, lots of sunshine and 79 degrees in Twin Falls, 77 in Burley and in the upper 70s to near 80 elsewhere throughout the Magic Valley with sunny skies. Sunshine in Sun Valley today at 72, mid 70s in Haley and over in Fairfield, upper 60s in Stanley, and upper 60s around McCall, too, down to near 70 in Cascade and 78 degrees in Council this afternoon. Low to mid 80s in the western Treasure Valley with sunshine all the way across the upper Treasure Valley, 83 in Boise, 84 in Mountain Home, and 77 in Idaho City this afternoon. Tonight, only in the mid to upper 50s, so very mild, and then hot tomorrow at 91 degrees, very summer-like, the hottest day of the year and the first temperature in the 90s that we've seen. But it will cool off quickly after that because Thursday evening a cold front comes in. Scattered thunderstorms develop, some with some gusty winds lasting overnight into Friday morning. And then uh, temperatures cool to the mid-70s Friday. As the low pressure trough moves in over the weekend, we cool down to the low to mid-60s on through Memorial Day with widespread rain showers and thunderstorms each day and some snow up above six to 7,000 feet possible as well. I can't believe that. Snow, yes, well, it's almost June, but we're still seeing and it. And that's the official start of summer, <laughs> unofficial. It is, it is. All right, thank you, Jim.